Question 14 is about averages. So we have a table here of temperatures and the modal class is a plural really for saying the mode, the most common class. So here is one class, second class, third, fourth, fifth, and which of these had the most in it? Well, we can see it's this one. So this is the mode, 20 was less than T, which was less than or equal to 20. A very easy one mark. But the four marks come from the harder stuff, which is the estimate of the mean. Now, you should know, to find the mean average, you add them all up and divide by how many there are. The problem is, we have a group. So we don't know the actual temperatures to add up. But we know that whatever they were in there, there were six of them. So because it says estimate, what we're actually going to do is make an estimate guess of what the temperature actually was. And we do that using the midpoint because it seems the most fair place to take it. Or you could say it's the mean between these two numbers. So I'm going to form two extra columns here. So this one's going to be midpoint. I'm going to shorten it to just MP. Just put these in. And then I'm going to have a total column here. I'll move my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So the middle of 8 and 12 is 10, 14, 18. Be careful because they're sometimes not equal gaps. So this one, for example, could have been 30 to make it a little bit harder. Now, so we're assuming now that 10, sorry, 6 of them were 10 degrees centigrade, which would give me a total of 60. 8 of them were 14, so 8 times 14 is 112. Now, that's kind of the limit of my times table knowledge at this stage. I can do that one, 52. Um, so I'm going to use my calculator to work out the rest. So, the rest. so 13 times 18 is 234. And 21 times 22 is 462. So the shortcut is to times these two. Because if there's 21 times, it was 22 degrees centigrade, times them to work out what the total was. So now, go back to what I said about the mean. You have to add them all up. So this is the total of everything in the first group, second group, third group. So this here would be the total of every single temperature recorded. So let's add these up. which is 920. So all the temperatures was 920. And we need to now divide that by how many days there were, which we're told up here is 50. But also, if you're not told that, you just add up how many days it was over, the frequency, how often you did the experiment, which is 50. So 920 divided by 50 is 18.4. So I'm going to write that here. 920 divided by 50, remember total of them all added up together, divided by how many there were, 18.4 degrees centigrade.